Hello everyone, this lesson is on finding the surface area of a composite solid. Now first it's important to know what a composite solid is, and it's really just two or more three-dimensional shapes that are attached, that are connected to form one solid shape. And as you can see in my title and in my image, I have a cube sitting on top of a rectangular prism. So we're taking those two three-dimensional shapes and combining them to form one composite solid. Now, anytime someone asks me to find the surface area of a composite solid, yes, it's important to know what the surface area is, but I think it's more important to know what surface area is not exposed. So what I picture in my head is, what if I had to paint the outside of this, the whole outside of this shape? There's one surface that is not going to get any paint. So I'm gonna use my pen here to outline that's where the bottom of our cube would be and that's what's attached to a rectangular prism so if i were painting the outside of this the bottom of this cube would never get any paint so i have to keep that in mind as we find the surface area of this composite solid so here's what we're going to do first let's focus on the cube because that's the easier shape and a cube is just a whole bunch of squares right six squares combined to form a cube but how many of those squares, again, this is what we have to keep in mind, how many of those squares are actually going to get paint? And hopefully you just said five, because the bottom surface is not getting. So what I'm going to do is, the formula for a rectangle also works for squares, is area equals length times width. And we can see up here, the length of one of the sides of our square, of our cube, is eight inches. So for one square, we're doing eight times eight, and we get 64 square inches and we had already said but not all six surfaces are getting paint only five are so i'm going to do times five do the math and i get 320 square inches of the cube will get paint all right so we're done with the cube for now now let's focus on the rectangular prism rectangular prism i can see i'm going to start with the front of it and i'm just going to say box because it's quicker this is 24 inches long and 10 high. So the area for the front of our box, length times width is 24 times 10, and that's gonna give us 240 square inches. Now what's great about a box is if the front of the box is 240, guess what the back of the box is? So I'm not gonna show you the math again, I'm just gonna write another 240 square inches right under it. So now we're done with the front and the back. Now let's take a look at this right side of our box. I can see it's 15 long and 10 high. So let's do the area for the right side of our box. So 15 times 10, and that's going to give us 150 square inches. And if the right side of the box is 150, well, then the left side is also 150 square inches. All right, so we're done with the top, sorry, the front, back, left, and right. Now let's look at the top and the bottom. Now some of you are probably already thinking, well, hold on, we're not using the whole top because the cube is blocking part of it. Well, you're right, but let's just focus on the top and the bottom first. So we can see on the bottom, it is 24 inches long by 15 inches wide. So 24 times the 15 is going to give us 360 square inches. And again, I'm not worrying about that bottom surface of the cube yet. Let's just say, okay, the top is also 360 inches squared. So now I'm going to draw my line and I'm going to do the math. We add down. So we have 240 plus 240 plus 150 plus 150 plus 360 plus 360. And that's going to give us 1,500 inches squared. Now let's deal with our problem. The problem is the bottom of this cube is not getting paint and it's blocking the top so we have to subtract that amount from our overall surface area of the rectangular prism because it's not going to get any paint and you may remember each one of those sides of the cube was 64 square inches so when i subtract that it's going to give me 1436 square inches of paint for the parts of the rectangular prism that are getting paint all right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have our two numbers. We have the paint for the cube. We have the paint for a rectangular prism. So let's add them together. I'm going to start with the bigger number because I think it's going to look better. 1,436 plus 320 gives us, and we add down, 1,000. 
756 square inches of paint for our composite solid. Ladies and gentlemen, the lesson is over.